And so we've run through a basic simulation on Abacus. We've modeled the barbell stand. We've created materials, assigned properties, loads, boundary conditions. We've seen how to assemble stuff. We've created steps. And we've created a job. We've meshed the part, and we've run the analysis. So we've done a whole bunch of stuff in this set of tutorial videos. It's not a very complex analysis. Every analysis you perform in Abacus requires the due diligence. You need to go through the process. It's not a two-minute job. You need to make sure you're putting in all the right properties, all the right parameters, and only then will you have a successful simulation. In some simulation software, such as in Cosmos Works with SolidWorks, it might seem a whole lot simpler at first because you just don't have the level of detail and control that you do in Abacus. But you've got to remember, Abacus is basically a research tool. That's how it originated, and so it's got the power and complexity associated with that. The complexity, of course, might be a downside for a beginner, but once you get good at it, you can really perform pretty much any type of simulation you're looking for. And I hope this initial set of introduction uh, tutorial videos has got you acclimatized to the Abacus environment, and you've got a general feel for how you perform a simulation in this environment, and you understand like all the basic steps that go into it. In future videos, we're going to look or focus more closely on smaller details, like we might look more closely at different types of loads or boundary conditions, or creating sets, surfaces, etc. And if you've understood everything in this tutorial video, you're ready to move on to more complex simulations. So stick around. We'll see you in the next Abacus video.